Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XDC. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We are going to talk about XDC. Once again, this is the seven day chart. We're sitting here just above five cents. And you know, right now what's going on is all these ISO cryptocurrencies are sitting at very low prices. Everybody knows the potential behind them, but because there's no price movement, everybody's fighting on them at the same time. You gotta stay focused on what you hold. Once XDC takes off, everybody's gonna be FOMOing in to this cryptocurrency. But why buy later, halfway up a massive green candle, when you could be buying the bottom right now? The game-changing role of XDC Network in modern global trade finance. Dive into this insightful NASDAQ article shedding light on how XDC Network stands as the irreplaceable backbone reshaping the landscape of trade finance. Like I said time and time again, there's no alternative to XDC. In a groundbreaking move, Tradeflow Capital, a prominent SME trade finance provider, successfully executed a digital transaction utilizing an e-bill of lading, raising liquidity against the seven-day shipment duration. The operation was made possible through the collaboration of key technology providers, including XDC Trade Network, Propine, TradeFinex, and Yoda Plus, all operating under the in in innovative Trade Trust framework. You know, we're going to see this happening time and time again, and then it's going to become the daily normal, where everything is digital inside of trade. And once that happens, and once that continues to happen all around the world, XDC is going to continue to rise in price. Exciting insights from Atul Kakade, co-founder XDC Network on the potential of tokenizing millions of trade documents. So first they talk about SWIFT and how it's 50 years old and that it's in need of a major upgrade. But SWIFT cannot compete with XDC. The SWIFT can't compete with Ripple or Stellar. But it's still going to stay relevant to a point in the future. But what XDC is doing, working side by side with SWIFT, it will be providing liquidity. And it will also be providing letters of credit. Like in other words, when somebody needs financing, they will go to XDC for that financing. Bring the liquidity. The pilots are proceeding very fast, and every time the counterparties conclude a transaction, they want to do a bigger transaction next. We expect that the network effect of these pilots will stabilize the production environment, and major global corporations, funds, fintechs, and MSMEs will scale up the transactions to billions of dollars. We now have shipping companies, regulated originators, digital asset custody providers, banks all over the world setting up pilot transactions. This is finally starting to get going. And it's happening in real time right now. What happens is you have technology. It's great. And everybody sees how great it is. But someone needs to take that first step and try it out. Then when everyone else sees how game-changing it is, they will also want to adopt that technology. That's the point we're at right now. XDC is one of the most uniquely positioned in all of Enterprise DLT, built to disrupt all of trade finance. They've done exactly that. With the seasoned team directly tied to all of this sector building, DLT fit for global trade on-chain, regulated entities, trade technology, financial infrastructure, top grade cybersecurity. You know, when Enterprise starts to come on board, they're going to want three things. They want it to be fast, they want it to be cheap, and they want it to be secure. But the team at XDC is absolutely incredible. I mean, look at this team. And I always said this, even around Ripple, because Ripple has a great team as well. 
These people don't sign on to something if it's going to lose in the end. They sign on to winners, and they see XDC Network as a winning network, that it's going to be with us far into the future, working inside that new financial system. Because every one of these people probably had 20 or 30 other job offers. Over half the G7 nations are onboarding with the Electronic Digital Trade Act 2023. They've are, they're ready to go global. By September 2024, a reliable global system framework will be implemented. What this means, global adoption is imminent. Take a listen to this. We're working on a reliable systems framework uh, for global trade, not just UK trade. Uh, that should be in place uh, by this time next year. And that will do three things. It will meet the provisions of the Electronic Trade Documents Act. It will transition the approval system for the uh, marine insurers, the IGP and I clubs, uh, over to us. Uh, and we will set out what the interoperable standards will be, uh, as David has quite rightly pointed out from the ICC Digital Standards Initiative. In other words, what we will say is reliable is also future proof in terms of being interoperable. Uh, and then now the focus has to be on the cargo owners, the corporates, to work with these crucial companies who are the buyers and sellers of goods to scale all of this approach up at a global level. So by September of next year, this will be ready to go global. And like I said, a lot of building is happening in the background when it comes to XDC. You don't get those daily announcements like you get around other networks. So right away, people think, oh, XDC is just dead. That's why it's sitting at five cents. All of a sudden, one day you're going to wake up and XDC is going to be sitting well over a dollar. And you're going to be like, wow, what just happened? Well, digital trade just happened. And I think we're also going to get crypto regulations next year global crypto regulations securitizes making it possible for individual investors to get into an asset class that had previously only been available to the ultra wealthy so you see trade tech launches u.s treasury bond token on the xdc network using securitize the private credit, credit market is expected to grow exponentially from $1.5 trillion to $3 trillion within five years. And Securitize is already making it possible for individual investors to get into an asset class that had previously only been available to the ultra wealthy. That is absolutely game changing. Now let's talk once again about ISO. Because everybody thinks ISO was nothing. They think, oh, well, it didn't have a factor on the price of these ISO cryptocurrencies. So that means it's just nothing. But that value is yet to come. Now, this comes from Focal Zero. The surge of ISO 222 is inevitable. Even if it's plausible that there will be many shocks before the final switch, everything is designed to reach levels never seen before. We have no idea. No one has ever seen such a transfer of value. Once that value starts coming into these ISO cryptocurrencies, you're either holding or you're going to be priced out. ISO coins. So we know XRP, QNT, Algorand, Stellar, HBAR, IOTA, XDC. So which one do you think is going to make you a millionaire? Which one do you think is going to make the most millionaires? Honestly, I think XDC might make a hell of a lot of millionaires. And the reason I say that is because XDC is going to hit some good numbers in the future. But people are really stacking XDC right now because it's cheap. I see people sometimes on X say, well, I was going to buy XRP, but XDC was too, you know, too good to pass up at five cents. And that's going to happen time and time again. So you could accumulate a lot more XDC. Stellar XLM is another one that people are really starting to stack because it, Soroban and smart contracts are about to go live on the Stellar network as well. Biggest transfer of wealth in history. We are moving into a new financial systems. 
banks will no longer be in control under this new system. Take control of your life. A new future is near. Keep your vibes high. You know, this is it. This is your one shot, you know, in your lifetime that you can make a substantial amount of money. I mean, generational wealth is possible. And I keep telling people, you know, I see everybody saying, I'm going to cash out my crypto. I'm going to buy a Lambo. I'm going to go buy this. Those same people will soon be back here chasing the next big thing in crypto. You got to plan so that you don't have to go to that nine to five job anymore. You know, there's going to be passive income, you know, opportunities by putting your crypto to work for you. And those are starting to pop up now inside of crypto. But we are in a once in a lifetime opportunity. The fourth industrial revolution is here. And all you have to do is invest in the right cryptocurrencies. Those of you who have been building through the bear market are the ones who are gonna fly the most in the bull. Now XDC had a lot of growth. I pointed it out during all of this crypto winter that we've been in all throughout last year, still continuing on this year. A lot of the growth for XDC, though, I don't think we're getting announcements around. I think it's all building that infrastructure behind the scenes. Kind of like this. If you thought the tip of the iceberg looked good for XDC, just imagine all the things being established behind the scenes. That's why I'm in bullish mode. You know, everybody always thinks you get an announcement and then the price should skyrocket. But now you get announcements and people expect that to happen. And when it doesn't, there's a problem. But those announcements mean nothing. All that growth still has to happen on the network. And I think where we're at right now with XDC is there's a lot of growth, a lot of building, and everything is put in place now. We're starting to get the laws in this country, in that country. Once we get global crypto regulations, especially around trade, that's it. This cryptocurrency is going to leave five cents behind like it was nothing. And a lot of people are going to be left with regrets. Don't be one of those people. Until it all happens, stay patient, stay positive. Let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.